back in the ancient times of 2010, a Cuban company reigned supreme on the Cuban market. This Cuban company, Shangshao. No one thought that Shangshao would ever be topped by any company. Until now. Obviously, the company that has taken over the Cuban community is Moyu. Today, I'm just going to be talking about how time has changed these puzzles and how the better designs of the Moyu reign supreme over the Shangshao. So, I'm just going to be com shortly comparing each one of these two puzzles. Okay, first, we're going to be looking at the 2x2s. Two um, the Shangshao 2x2, two two, this doesn't really have a name, it's just the Shangshao 2x2. Two two. As you can see, as time went on, we have developed flooring cuts here. So this can help with reverse corner cutting on the Moyu Ling Po here, while this one is impossible to actually get any reverse corner cut that is relatively far. This one can do it easily. Also, you can see that this does not have a ball core while this does. This is a solid ball, and this has the edges and everything sticking out. The better mechanism gives it a faster feel, and I'm just going to compare each one of the mechanisms and the... Um, changes that have been made. Obviously, the Mo Yu Ling Po is amazing and it's extremely fast. And the Shang Shao is okay, it's speed cubable, but it's kind of obsolete to today's 2x2s. Next, we have 3x3s. We have the Mo Yu Along version 2 and then the Shang Shao Wind. Again, we see these flooring cuts that are not present in the um, Shang Shao that require that. Um, lets it have reverse corner cutting, which was impossible on the Shang Shao Wind at far lengths. That is impossible, and then easily on the Moyu. But it was possible due to the um, looser tensions on this. Now, the Shang Shao Wind was very smooth, and it still performed okay. You could get sub 20s, or I can get sub 20s on it. But the Moyu is just so much better. Another reason that this is so much better than the Shang Shao is this one actually has torpedoes while well, this is based off of a Guhong design and has no torpedoes or any anti-popping mechanism. So therefore the Moyu is better with that due to the time passing and the better technology. Okay now 4x4 which is probably Shang Shao's, one of Shang Shao's best products of all time. Um, 4x4 is actually still pretty good compared to an Aosu. This is a version 3 and it was my first speed cube and again you can see these flooring cuts. Shang Shao did not use flooring cuts but it can still reverse a decent amount but the Aosu destroys it in reverse corner cutting. Next we have 5x5 and I don't have the 6x6 and 7x7 for both so we'll just do 5x5. Flooring cuts, no flooring cuts. Um, this mechanism has no anti-pop so you can easily just do this and this piece can just fall out like really easily you can it's really easy to pop there it goes that piece as you can see it has no anti-pop mechanism in it it's just a plain piece and then the corner doesn't stick in there very well either but on the Mo U, hold on one second on the Mo U, you can see how easy they just go right into there the Mo U, it may lock up, but it's not going to pop because there are torpedoes in all these pieces. And it will corner cut through it. This is a Hua Chong, and this is just a Shang Shao 5x5. But the all Shang Shao products have a... Okay, now we have the cubes. Now, to be honest, these puzzles, the non-cubic puzzles, I mean, these are cubes, but the non-regular um, puzzles are actually pretty even. The Shang Shao Scube is actually pretty good. It has a good price tag, and it's very nice. The Moyu is still is just as good, but maybe even better for its smoothness. It's a hard choice, and actually, if you get them both, you might actually take the Shang Shao as your main, depending on your preference. And then we have, last but not least, Pyraminx. And obviously, these companies produce a lot of different other um, puzzles, such as this is the Shang Shao Master Morphix, or the Mirror Blocks, and etc. And the Moyu has all the crazy yielings and stuff. So, um, I modded my Shang Shao, and 
This is my main. The Shang Shell is actually my main over the Mo Yu. Because the Mo Yu is so... It's hard to explain. It's You can get it out of control way too easily. And it's kind of locky in a way. And the tips are just awful on it. But the Shang Shell is just clicky enough just so that it works. It clicks right into place every time. And I really enjoy the Shang Shell That's over the Mo Yu. For this video, you guys are... If you're still watching... You're probably wondering, okay, where is he going with this? Well, the whole point for the whole video is that time, obviously, as time goes on, the cubes will get better, obviously. But it doesn't, it proves the fact that old cubes are not always bad. I mean, take, for example, a Dian Zanchi. It's a pretty old puzzle, and it can cut corner cut 45, and it's amazing. I mean, the world record was set with this. So, I mean, there are a lot of old cubes that are, um, still really good but I just wanted to show that these two companies because since Shang Shao reigns supreme on the cubing market now Mo Yu completely dominates it not I don't know what will come up next to dominate Mo Yu but eventually there will be another company that takes over the market for speed cubes um speaking of speed cubes um or actually the opposite of that both these um companies make amazing non WCA puzzles as well um I'm probably going to get the Moyu Wheel of Time. Hopefully that's really really fun to do. And um, yeah, it's just I just wanted to make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that effect at the beginning. That was kind of funny. Um, but um, yeah, that's just my point for the video is that old cubes aren't bad. And as time goes on, cubes will get better. But um, comment below if you think we have reached our maximum potential for our puzzles as of this moment. Because I frankly do not think we have. We can still improve on the puzzles that we have today. So I hope you guys enjoyed, um, see you guys later and bye.